<laughs> How do you do? Uh, okay. I'll do this the stern look. It's, I think it goes like this where he points the finger at you. Now that of course is more of the face that you're gonna see Obama having in India. Now I am still like it's like why in the world did you decide to go to India when you know well actually Indians do not like Muslims and even though our dear president is not admitting that he's Muslim, everybody knows that he is. So he has not had that welcome with open arms that he would love to have from the Indian press. But then, I suppose, maybe that's because we're coming on the heels of realizing that Obamacare, by the time we add 32 million people to the rolls for health care, oh, health care costs might go up. Hmm. Knock, knock, knock. Meanwhile, here's some more news with old cow with comments on the headlines of today. Matt Bull is making an appearance again today in place of Bear the Market because Bear the Market and B.S. the Bull and the rest of the Monty family, I think they celebrated a little bit too much and they are still sleeping. What, they stayed in Vegas? <laughs> yeah, what happens in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas, but ask Monty. And Obama, Obama actually thinks he won the election with his message of hope and change. Oh, I know. They, they, and Obama's people are all spreading the thing that this was, this was another part of the Obama revolution. That the people, they, they are supporting him and they have removed people from the House and Senate that stood against hope and change. No, they voted with him, which is why they got removed, folks. Oh, and it's back to our daily, it's all over for the Republicans, as they fell into the Obama trap. That's what Juan Williams said yesterday. I mean, this is ridiculous. How in the world could they have somebody fire a guy at, at National Public Radio that basically is a Roman legionnaire that would fall on his sword for his leader, no matter how stupid he is? Mm -hmm. And this is a bad part. I mean, you'd think that they... The people around the world thought that George Bush was an idiot. I just had a, an English a, a reporter from India said that this is the most incompetent man that he'd ever seen in his life, and he's seen a lot of incompetent people in India. John, I know he's not receiving the welcome he would like to. And, well, but they did uh, allow him to use a teleprompter. Well, I know they did allow it, but when they get him off prompter, the pro he went there. To, to his cult of personality to solve the problem between the Hindus and the Muslims. They don't like one another. They like one another the same way as oil likes water. They would, slot, they would dump a nuclear bomb into each other's country in a second but, if they thought they could survive the thing. Oh, but he went there to lecture them. <laughs> he went there to lecture them. He also went there to lecture India on how unions can help their country grow. Wait a minute, you know, don't we have all of our, like, call centers in India and Pakistan? Oh, yeah, <laughs> and we're all of our, uh, everything... Our we, tech is coming out of we're there? We're talking, the whole country of India is our, is our version of Silicon Valley. Yeah! I mean, we basically send everything over there because the president doesn't understand that why we ship things out is because we can't afford to build them in our country anymore. Well, and they can do it for a lot less money. Yeah, like, well, he would... Well, why don't you buy an American General Motors vehicle? Well, because our car costs two thousand dollars and doesn't come from unions. Your car costs us fifty thousand dollars. Well, and their technical schooling is actually, I have heard, much more rigorous well, yeah. than here. And they can speak English and other languages. Mm. I mean, I've never seen a person from India that couldn't speak our language, English, English, and at least two or three other languages at the same time. And John Paul Stevens is calling for religious and ethnic tolerance of Muslims, but not of Christians. I know it. Isn't that a good one? That it's important that we must understand other religions and give them the same tolerance that we would expect to be given ourselves by other religions. Well, the problem is they don't yeah. give us that. We're expected to give them something we don't get. Duh! Yeah, which is why they aren't getting it, folks. Well, you tend not to, uh, you know, you, you tend not to do, uh, give tolerance to people that want to slash your throat if your back is turned to them. Well, doesn't that make sense? No, I, I'll tell it this way exactly. My, my nephew's father basically single-handedly stopped a hijacking of an airplane by simply walking up to the guy and tell him, you know, just as long as you don't turn your back on him, he's not going to do anything. And then he, he flattened the guy on his butt, took his box cutter from him and and got cheers from everybody on board the plane. That was back after 9-11, but still, well, he was much younger then, too. But 
he was born in uh, the German born in Li in Libya. So he knew Muslims. He just said, if you don't turn your back on a terrorist, he's never going to hurt you. And Obama calls for India and Pakistan talks. Yeah, because if we can just sit down and we can discuss things in an intelligent manner. Well, they haven't liked one another since the Indians chased the Muslims all out of India into that little part of the country that they call Pakistan. Those all used to be Indians, folks. Mm. But they had a religion that is not compatible with the Mahin, which is sort of funny when you consider the same people created the religion. Yeah. yeah. And Obama to stick with his spending programs because that is what the voters wanted to be done in the last election. Well, to hear Juan Williams, the, the Republicans got the wrong message. This was not a message of change. This was a message of acceptance of the Obama programs, that the nation knows that his spending saved this country. Well, no one's, the employment's not going up. You know, government spending continues to go up, and they're going to have to, no matter who's elected, you're going to raise taxes, folks. That's all because of Obama. And <laughs> liberals are tolerant and more open-minded and more bipartisan than Republicans. Uh, I know. That, that's what Harry Reid said, that, you know, that why people are flocking to the message of hope and change, as he's basically did a character assassination of his opponent, uh, basically doesn't listen to anything bipartisan, but they're more tolerant and bipartisan. Mm -hmm. Anybody Ob seen Obama do anything with tolerance or bipartisanship? Yeah. And Obama to stick with his spending programs because that is what the voters wanted to be done in the last election. I know, she liked that so much. It I is! Say it again. Because you know what? It's so ridiculous. Wants to do is spend. Uh, no. Uh, the public said stop spending, stop spending, which is why they took the House of Representatives. It was the greatest loss in the history of elections in the House of Representatives. It was just like a parliamentary change in order to stop. They give the Republicans the House because that controls Obama's purse strings. They didn't give him the Senate because they didn't want to give Republicans power to ram through their... Okay, if you gave Republicans power in both houses, they're going to try you know, gays in the military, you know, abortion rights, which is not what the people want. No. They want the economy fixed and the spending stopped. Yeah, that sounds more like a Tea Party agenda. Oh, actually, that's probably what most people want. They want They're that, but the Republican about. leadership doesn't. Republican leadership has been doing nothing but, well, we would have taken a Senate except for the Tea Party. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. They wouldn't get, they're not going to get the Senate. They're not going to give us a Republican president if you have a Republican Congress. That's not going to happen next time. And Missouri and Kansas and 11 other states filed briefs in an Arizona immigration case. Well, yeah, because uh, California is going to be filing one, too. California now has a Republican attorney general. Oh. They don't have Jerry Brown, who basically filed a brief in behalf of the, uh, of the, of the abused countries in South America who are bringing their people here illegally. Hidden in the health care legislation is a provision requiring restaurant chains to post a caloric punch behind their offerings. Isn't that a cute little thing in there that tells you you got to tell everybody the calories of everything you're serving in your restaurant I now. thought they were doing that already. No, basically they buried it because it would, the fact is you can't print, um, you, you cannot afford to print menus with every single calorie of everything you serve in your restaurant. They said it's detrimental. A fast food place can get away with it. Because they serve the same food nationwide. Yeah, but a restaurant chain can't because restaurant chains actually change specialties from restaurant to restaurant. And you cannot afford the cost of menus that are basically as thick as newspapers. Mm -hmm. Mid-course corrections. Well, yeah, the mid-course correction is... I know this, this is Mad Bull, not Bear the Market, but Bear the Market would be saying his mid-course correction is... I'm going to explain things better than I did before, which means you think he was on TV a lot. Well, basically, he's on nothing but TV in India, so. Mm. And vice president. Yeah, we'll see how much actually comes back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, even though I think we don't have a censored media, we do more. Well, the we Indians are fed up on 24 hours a day of Obama. I bet they are. Yeah. We get fed up here, 24 yeah. hours of anything. Well, I, if, uh, you know, same thing. If I would have just explained things better over the right-wing extremists taking control of the media, they control the media. The right. You're talking Rush Limbaugh and Hannity are the two right. They're the, they, they're the mm -hmm. extremists, yeah. And Vice President Biden pledges unwavering support for Israel. 
as he's over talking to the Muslims, mm -hmm. and as he dreams up a plan, well, let the Muslims run the country and lease the lands to the Israelis. That's Obama's great plan. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, the basic problem is when you get old, there's no place to go but being old. So, what we're going to do next is, uh, you know... <laughs>